Hey everybody, thanks for coming to watch. So, as you can see, you know, I'm looking at the GFS model for the Southeast. Um, so we got our Blizzard that will be impacting uh, the Middle East and the um, the North Central. Um, but, you know, we'll get further into the video. So, as you can see right now, you got some, uh, got some rain off the coast of Florida. Um, some, you know, lingering moisture in the Gulf right here, which will actually feed this storm. Because, um, the southeast has, will be holding one of the ingredients for the storm. So, as you can see, our cold front starting to make its way pretty far south. You got some uh, energy coming coming up here. Got some snow showing up here. Um, in mostly Kansas, but some of Oklahoma um, and some of Arkansas as well. Um, you know that'll that'll move through. And you got some showers and um, you got some showers and some rainfall here in uh, Texas and you know Louisiana. So. Probably about midday tomorrow, that'll start to get going. You got some heavier and stronger uh, precipitation. This will kind of move into the Gulf a little bit farther south. You know, intensify. So we got very, very, um, you know, uh, very, very wet rain. You got some uh, red showing up here. You got some oranges in Louisiana. Um, and this will this will just keep going in the Gulf, keep getting stronger and stronger, and it'll just slam into Florida. This will bring gusty thunderstorms, guys. Possible severe storms with this storm. So you Floridians out there, watch out, because it's gonna be another storm that's gonna feel like a midsummer thunderstorm for you guys. So yeah, we're talking Miami, you know, Orlando, you know, anywhere. Basically, if you're anywhere in South Central Florida. Any of those areas, then you could definitely have some nasty weather. And then I'll move through some lingering showers in the, the Carolinas. But, I mean, it'll clear up. And you see these stay. You know, they, they kind of linger around. You got some ice showing up in North Carolina. Then you see this just takes a move on north. Then you get more energy in this storm and this intensifies beginning part of our storm that takes us to the north central where we have our second piece of energy that's going to also attach to the energy we just showed in the southeast so you can see so we have some snow showers flying around got a piece of energy flying through um if this continues on its projected path, I don't think this is going to, you know, impact anybody else just kind of going to Canada. But, I mean, yeah, well, that'll be, um, you know, a minor, maybe a minor snowstorm, but, you know, not more than, I don't know, five inches of snow. And just more pieces of energy come. Then it got some more snow. Um, yeah, Nebraska... And, um, I mean, yeah, it's just going to be pretty snowy for the uh, North Central. So, I mean, uh, and South Dakota, too. Possible North Dakota, possibly. We'll watch this, guys. You know, we get some more intensifying snow moving into Kansas. You get even more heavy. So then you go, okay, so this is real. And you see, oh, there's our piece of energy from the Southeast. Then you kind of know what's going to happen next. The two storms are going to connect, bring a massive walloping storm to the northeast, and you bet it's going to be a blockbuster, guys. I mean, it's just nuts. I mean, you got blizzard conditions here. I mean, you got very heavy snow in Wisconsin, very heavy snow in Illinois, you know, Ohio. We, we're going to, when we look at the winds, guys, it's going to be nuts. We're going to have. You know, possible gusts up to hurricane force winds. I mean, that's 70 miles an hour. Crazy, guys. And moose, this will just move into the northeast. And you got some more snow showers behind it um, on Christmas Day. We'll go here to the 
snow turtles I'll play this for you guys then we can move on so as you can see you know we got an inch on the ground and then really by 23rd is when you get start get going and the big question is how much snow in this area right here because you got 23 inches on the ground so two feet of snow in Ohio or no not Ohio but Indiana Ohio I mean I'm saying that because I'm saying Ohio because it's you know the two states are so close together that it's just gonna you no know, it's just probable that you know Ohio is gonna get the same amount so I mean yeah it's widespread it's a widespread inch for you guys up here in the north central I think farther a little farther south southeast I think that's where the more you know, snow action you got 26 inches here so you got more than a foot. It's going to be very snowy. And then you got our, your lingering snow showers. Um, right around Christmas. Here's the northeast. Lake snow effect possible here. Right around now. You know, this little for uh, Buffalo. So, pretty quiet. Just, you know, precipitation staying kind of north and out to sea. Then you have this piece of energy from the southeast creeping up. You got some ice and freezing rain showing up in Virginia. Then you got, you know, snow showing up in Pennsylvania. And then this will just kind of move in and connect with our other system. And uh, you, got, you got more snow and then rain for the northeast. Uh, I think it's going to be more rain now. The GFS is sticking with the rain and then... You know, the snow totals, it's different because the GFS says, like, you know, more rain and some, you know, maybe some freezing rain. But then when you look at the snow totals, it's because, I mean, look, look at this. Just take a moment and take a look at this. I mean, look how massive this storm is. All the northeast, almost all the northeast is in some form of precipitation. Got heavy snow or heavy rain and thunderstorms out here off the coast. Got heavy rain in the interior parts of the northeast. And then you got heavy snow out here in Ohio. And then this will move through. You got heavy snow in the back of this. So the, the so the back side of the storm is what's gonna bring the snow to the northeast. That we have to talk about because that could accumulate. Now you got some lingering snow showers. Around Christmas. So then you go to snow totals. I'll play this for you guys. You already got some green showing up. That's like around 20 inches of snow, guys. There's our back side of the storm. You see it's late? There, right there. So uh, it's not going to be, you know, not going to bring as much snow to the northeast as it will to north central but you got nine inches of snow here you got you can scattered nine seven eight nine inches of snow you got a foot around a foot maybe buffalo um that could also uh you know be affected by lake snow effect or late lake snow lake effect snow but i mean yeah i mean substantial winter storm but the winds also are a huge factor we'll take a look at the winds here so, I'm going to put this to Thursday. So, here's our uh, energy coming through. We got around Denver. We got, you know, gusty winds, obviously. It's, you know, it's Colorado, guys. Here's Friday. Here's our blizzard, you know, coming. Here's a very heavy snow coming in Illinois. Look at the Great Lakes, guys. Look at this. 39 miles an hour sustained. 43. 45. So that's gusts up to 60. I mean, you know, that's what you would expect. But, I mean, look at this widespread wind. I mean, widespread 25, you know, all in the 20s. Mid to upper 20s. Then you got into the low 30s here in Illinois. And this will just keep intensifying... And soon enough, you got your low pressure 
seeing the wind kind of spinning into it. You got 36 sustained far inland. Take a look at the Great Lakes. You're, you're hitting 48, 49. You, you're getting close to 50 miles an hour. Right here, that's 50 sustained. Take a look at the East Coast. You got Eastern Long Island, you got 32 miles an hour. You got the Hook, you got 33. You know, Boston area, you got around 20 mile an hour winds. It's just going to be a windy day, guys. It's going to be... Yeah, you got 51 there. You know, partly dangerous, too. Because this will keep intensifying, and soon enough, it's not going to be too hard to find 52 miles an hour. So you got 55 miles an hour. Sustained winds, guys. 55 miles an hour. That's way, pla that's way, pla that's way past what you need for a blizzard. 36 off the coast. 1 p.m. just keeps getting even more intensifying. You got 54, 55. And then off the coast, you get more, and it goes a little farther inland to the city, you know, New York City, seeing some action. This just keeps staying windy, guys. I mean, and look at the look at the whole East Coast. You got possible gusts up to, you know, up to 50. Now look at all Long Island, guys. I mean, this is all sustained winds of 30, even 40 out there. So let's gust up to 50 for you guys on Long Island. I mean, pretty, pretty windy, guys. And just watch the system because it's going to bring a lot of uh, very strong wind gusts. That's going to wrap up the video, guys. Thanks for coming to watch, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching.